Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the If True Then and Greater Ops. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Okay, so let's get started. This is gonna be one of the first videos just giving a gentle introduction to Boolean Ops and Comparison Ops. And for people that aren't familiar with programming, this can seem a little bit intimidating. Don't worry, it's really easy once you wrap your head around it. So imagine I would wanna swap between a sphere and a cube. I could use a switch trigger for this. I can also use a different op. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna grab the if true then op. And now I'm gonna pull this output. I'm gonna grab a cube. So we see a cube, but not the sphere. So this op expects a Boolean. He expects a true or false value. So if I click this, I'm generating a true or false value. If I press F for flow mode, you can see that by determining if it's true or false, we jump between the two. I can go here and I can grab the value Boolean op. And this allows me to make it happen in the same way. So that's just the basic workflow of this. If it's true, then do this. If it's false, else, then do this. So let's get rid of that. And now I wanna show you a neat little trick. So if I go to the random cluster up, zoom out with my mouse wheel, uh, we can see we're only getting the sphere. So we get a random number here between zero and one for every single instance there. And I mean like 0 0.1, 0 0.6. So I'm gonna grab this, pull it out, and I'm gonna get the greater op. Result is true if number one is greater than number two. So I'm gonna grab that. As you can see, we've got a lot of activity because random cluster is rendering a lot. Let's just put it on 20, actually. There we go. We're now gonna grab this and it's gonna output a Boolean. So we're gonna plug that in there and we don't see anything happen yet because the number here is on zero. If I put it on 0 0.5, all of a sudden you can see that we get a mix between cubes and spheres. So I'm just gonna try and explain really briefly what's happening here with the flow. So a random cluster is generating a random number between zero and one for each instance. We throw that into the greater up. The result is true if number one is greater than number two. So if it's true, we trigger the sphere. If it's false, we then trigger the cube. So this was a basic introduction to some Boolean and comparison operations inside of cables. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.